Hello beautiful ladies of my heart. I am so excited about today's video. I want to show you how I got this look and how you can too. I have tips and tricks that I picked up. I'm very excited to share them with you. Plus a beautiful subscriber on my channel asked if I would look for a eyes, cheeks, and lip palette. They, they are not easy to find and the most ones that I found were in high end except for this one. This is by Revlon and it's in Berry. So these are the eyeshadows up top. In the middle is the blush, lipsticks on this side, and lip gloss on those side. Plus I have some new liner, water liners to try. I mean, it's just gonna be stacked. All right, ladies, without further ado, wackadoo, let's get to it. Mwah. So what I am gonna do first is today I'm going to do e.l.f. The uh, Soft Glam, and this is in a darker medium. And I'm going to mix it with the primer. This was a tip I saw, or a trick, on TikTok. So I'm going to put, i got to shake it really good. Shake, shake, shake. I'm so excited, ladies. Okay, so I'm going to put it in my hand, like about that. Okay. I've been really working on trying to get this camera to focus. I just don't know. All right, and then I'm going to use the Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f. And I'm going to put just a dab like so. I'm going to mix it with my fingers. Okay. The reason on the palm is so good is because it doesn't soak up as much as it does in the back of your hand. That's what they said and I'm just going to stick to it. Okay. It's so the first time, like I said, I do things with you because you guys just need to see it in the virgin format. Okay, the lady on TikTok said that it will be glowier, smoother, and still hide pores. So we're gonna see, okay? Mm. Oh, what do you think of my shirt? I got this at Costco. I love Costco. Okay, now, my skin, you guys, has just been amazing. That facial scrub machine I got by Teo uh, I, I, here it is right here. They have them on Amazon at the reduced price. It's been a very key factor in keeping my skin really clean and uh, exfoliated. And I'm not overdoing it. I don't do a lot of pressure. I, I'll link my night routine one here so you can see. Okay, brows are done and I'm still loving my uh, Benefits Brow in the cool gray. I think it's it just, it works for me. I'm really loving it. All right, next ladies. Now we're gonna do the eyes. I like Anchi's brushes and I love the BK Beauty brushes. And this is the only part of my video that's sponsored. They are fabulous brushes. I just absolutely love them. Okay, thank you BK Beauty. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I think, I've got this pink on. These are a little bit, that's berry. It's supposed to be berry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color here, this light color here, and I'm going to put that on. Let's see how pigmented they are. This cost about 10 bucks. I'll put the price of everything. Okay, but oh, Revlon. All right, so I'm going to go straight ahead as you normally know I do. It's not very much color in that. But again, I like subtle. I follow my yellow brick road for hooded eyes. I gotta make myself an extended crease. I'm gonna take it there, but I have to go up higher. I raise it to make it even, then I look down. Okay, my traditional eyes. You know, and I haven't been using the tape because I keep putting it out of the way, and I notice that I do have a lot of fallout I go too deep in this corner. See, it goes right down like so. So I've got that little crevice in there. It makes cleaning up on aisle five a little harder. So I am gonna do, God, don't put it in my eyeball. How are you ladies? I hope your summer's going well. It's going fast, we're in August. What the heck? All right, okay. So that makes it easier for me to apply to because I, I don't feel I have to be so careful. <laughs> this is very pretty. This is that berry one. So I'm just, yeah, 
Mm -hmm. Now on my lid, I'm going to take this one. Okay. And I have a flatter brush like that, and I'm going to dip in on the side. Doesn't have a lot of powder. The pigment, it's very, these are very, very light. Okay. Very light. Look at that. And they're glittery. Not glitter, they're shimmery. Oh my gosh, is that pretty? Oh my, yar. No, I'm not a pirate. I just read a lot of Stephen King. The, the book, fairy tale, they say yar in it instead of yes. And so I listened to the audiobooks. <laughs> now it's stuck in my head, but I, I, I love me some Stephen King. It's not for everybody. All right, what do you think of that, ladies? All right, so in the corner, I'm gonna take the brown down here. Let me get my little corner, BK Beauty. I'll list all of these. I'm gonna just pound it in. <laughs> and then go in the corner. Oh, these are beautiful, you guys. I like that they're not heavily pigmented, you know, so that you have to wipe it off. Oh, pretty, again. Straight ahead, la la. Oh, 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 oh. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Okay. This is a lovely palette. Thank you, my beautiful subscriber that asked if I would locate one. I there there was, this was the only one affordable. There were some that were you know outrageously priced, and that's ridiculous. Okay. All right. Look at that. Okay, now we have to do some blending. Okay, this one is a little... Where's my blender? This is a BK Beauty blender. And we're going to do this. See? We are going to lightly hold it. Gosh, wouldn't it be great if, you know... I, I love people. I love that I have all you beautiful ladies and the kind, kind things you say to me. Oh, I would love to meet you all. I would love to have a convention. You know, just to meet you all. Okay, what do you think? A little too dark. Well, we'll do a cleanup on aisle five. Uh, I guess I was wrong when I said it wasn't that pigmented. Depends on how heavy your hand is. But, oh, it's pretty, you guys. You got your cat eyes. Can I take this off? Mmm, I just love that, that line. And, isn't that cool? So I'm gonna take that, that up here, that white. And I'm going to take, I got this cool little brush, Elf, this little flat like this. It's very cool. And I'm going to put it in that mat. And then I'm going to go up here. Gosh, I swear I, I you know, I pluck a lot and then they just keep coming. Then, I forgot to do this, but I like to set my brows with this L'Oreal Lash, oh, this L'Oreal Brow Lamination. Okay. Now, I have two liners. I got this one by Maybelline. New York Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner. And then I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this NYX Professional Epic Eyewear Liner Wainer. And this is in burnt sienna, and this is walnut. So I'm gonna write down that Maybelline is on the right. <laughs> All right now. So I'm gonna put. There's the Maybelline, and then right next to it, I will put, and that is the. NYX. Okay. Now I'm going to do this one. So I am going to take it and again it's not so much the waterline as it is on the lash line. Okay so this is this is the Maybelline and it's very creamy. And I'm going to go on the other side with the NYX. Oh poke my eye out. Again, on that lash line, it seems much easier. I love the colors. You know, I like my little wings, too. 
no transfer. I do like my little tiny wing. Okay. All right. I lose caps. I lose my head if it wasn't fastened on. My mother always said, "Okay, boy, is that pretty?" Right now, the mascara I want to use is the Elf Lash Extender Two B Mascara, and it's probably a good idea to wait for the the liners to dry before you put on mascara. I'm staying away from the base for right now. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, ladies. Now, I have a concealer hack for you. I saw Wayne did this, and he's 46, and it's gonna be different for women my age. I'm 67, so it's powder, your concealer mixed with powder under your eyes. All right, so I don't wanna dip into the the powder in here with my concealer. I'm putting it in my lid. He did a lot of powder. I'm just dipping it once. Okay. And now I'm going to go how I normally do. Okay. Dip it in that and do it on this side. And the idea is that this is supposed to set and be smooth and not go in your creases. Okie dokie artichokey. Now I didn't do a lot of the powder because when you think about it and our age and how drying with the best moisturizer hydration oil whatever you use and I'm using of course my uh, aquaphor let me look up close okay so and then he also took more powder, very little powder. And since I'm loving this one so much, I'm gonna use the one size. And you just keep pressing. And then I will come back later, okay? All right, so that, we're gonna see how that wears today. All right. Hold. Stay tuned. I also take, I love my NYX. I like to use it to do a little contouring. And then you have this little tip. <laughs> they did. You want a button nose? Push it up and go right there. And then right at the end of your nose. Do I have a button nose now? Uh, I don't know. And then I have the gels, so you want to be up on it somewhat, okay? Not exactly right, and you'll bring it down. But this will help. I should, I should hold my head on. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's, that's, a, that's a kind of contouring I like to do. It does. All right. Now I'm gonna go into the blush. Now this is that light, very light blush here. I'm gonna take my BK Beauty little slanted one, 112 I think, and I'm gonna go like this. Now this is, this is very, very subtle, which I don't really see much of it. That is the blush though. I love doing new stuff with you ladies, oh my gosh. So it's not actually my favorite color blush uh, because I don't really see much of it. I have to keep applying. Okay. Very, very subtle. Very, very subtle. Okay. Now the lipstick. Now I'm going to have a liner. I'm going to try one of my new liners. This is by... This is by Oral Fixation, Sharpenable Lip Liner, Celestia, that's the company, Celestia. Put it on my hand over here. Okay, so there, that is right there. Okay, all right, here we go. Pretty color. It's supposed to be 
waterish proof. <laughs> okay, and I like to fill it in. The color's gorgeous. It's a very, very subdued color. We'll see how this lasts. I'll try not to rub it too much. All right, now I'm gonna take one of these lipsticks here. I think I'll start out with the lighter one, and I have a lipstick, a lipstick brush. Okay, that's very light. How about the darker one? Now I'm gonna try the darker one on the other side. Oh yeah, I like that better. Um, Laura, I love Revlon lipsticks. I just, I do. Pretty, very subtle. All right, that's the lipstick. Very pretty. Now I'm gonna take the lip gloss. I'm gonna take this lip gloss I already put my finger in. I'm gonna put my thinner on it like this and just, ooh, dab. Mm -hmm. I probably should have set my lips first. I always forget that. Okay. Oh, you guys, this is lovely. Oh my gosh, again, thank you, wonderful subscriber. I hope you're seeing this. All right, and I'm gonna go see if I can. And then I also am gonna spray. Now, okay, one thing I'm noticing is it's creasing. Drying, we'll see when I get back. I mean, it looks really crinky, crinkly. Wanna go like this or fine? No, they're still crinkly. Yeah, okay, ladies, I'm coming back, okay? I'm gonna spray. I go back and forth between the uh, Revlon, the L'Oreal spray and the Revlon and the Revolution. What do you think, ladies? Oh my goodness. All right, aside from the blush being a little too light for me, I think the, the palette is fabulous. The eyes. <laughs> All right. Oh, and the lipstick is so pretty, and I love that liner, as I said. That liner, but the truth will tell when I come back tonight after six or seven. So I really like mixing the primer with foundation. It can be any primer with any foundation. I wouldn't try it with a powder. You put your primer on first. It's just an idea to help make it look glowy and gorgeous. That's what they said. I like it. Oh my gosh, this palette, you guys. I'm in love with this palette by Revlon. So far, so good. I'll see you in about six hours, okay? Go out and have a great day. Hey, beautiful ladies of my heart. It is time for my check-in. I have to say, that's why I'm outside, is I have to say that I do not like the mixing my concealer with powder. It just looked really drying, really drying. And the powder, I think the powder is excellent especially when your skin is optimal and it is very warm outside. I think the setting sprays work just as well holding your foundation in place, especially the ones I have. Now the eyeliner, this is NYX and this is Maybelline. It seems to me that the NYX stayed thicker longer. This one kind of looked like it was separating. The Revlon palette, it's to die for, it's beautiful. I just, the only thing I have is that the blush is very light. For that kind of look, it paid off. All right, ladies, let's see. Did I forget anything? Oh, the lip, lip liner. I had to reapply. So there is no such thing as waterproof lip liner. Maybe water resistant, but it seemed like it was gone. I, I had lunch, it was just gone like that. My other liners that I use have stayed. I've got more to try. I've got more eyeliners to try. I've got more tips and tricks to share with you. I love you. Thank you for being here. It's wine time in Idaho. Mwah.